Say hi to YouTube. Hi. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing another story time video. And this one is a little more serious. This is about the time that I hit my head really hard and got a concussion and had to go to the emergency room. So stay tuned. So I believe it was three years ago and for Christmas I got this hair crimper and I thought it was so cool. Like, I mean, my hair already looks like it's a little bit crimped, but I don't know, it was just a really cool hair tool. I was in my bathroom and I was like, Mom, can you help me use my new hair crimper? Can you crimp my hair for me? She's like, sure, okay. So I'm standing there and she's crimping my hair and I'm like, yeah, it's gonna look so nice. And I'm so excited because this is my new hair crimper. Like, I wanna see how it turns out. And so my mom, she's on the phone and she's talking to her brother, well, my uncle. And so she's just crimping my hair and she has like about half of it done and she's on the back. And then all of a sudden, like, I start feeling really hot. I was like, Mom, it's really hot in here. And she's just like, no, it's not. And I'm like, Mom, I'm dying. It's really hot in here. And I'm thinking, okay, it's just the heat tool. And then all of a sudden, I just start feeling, like, a little bit dizzy. I'm like, whoa. Okay, this is really weird. And then I'm just facing my shower, and which there's a bathtub, too. And I'm just looking at the curtain, and, and then all of a sudden, like, everything gets really dark, and it just closes, closes in, in black. black. And then I just can't see anything. And then I don't know what happened. And then I guess I wake up, and I'm sitting on the ground against the wall, and my mom is facing me. She's like, Alexis, Alexis. And she's no longer on the phone. She's like, Alexis. And I'm like, hi, mom. Hey, what's up? Why am I on the ground and why are you acting crazy? And she's like, are you okay? And I'm like, I'm fine. Let's keep crimping my hair. I don't know why I'm on the ground, but okay. And then my sister comes in and she's like, oh my gosh, what is that on Alexis's head? Now I'm freaking out. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, what's on my head? And she's like, Alexis, you just had a little seizure. And I'm like, what? I don't even remember what happened. Why am I on the ground? And so I, my dad comes in and he's like, okay, we're going to have to go to the emergency room. And I'm freaking out because I really don't like hospitals. Hospitals scare me and I just don't like being in them. So I kind of get up and I'm like, whoa, I feel a little bit dizzy. And I look in the mirror and right here, there is this giant like goose egg bump on my head and it's all green and yellow and like, it's literally like this, guys. I'm not even kidding. I actually still have a mark today, which I'll show you. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm crying. I'm like, what happened? And my mom said that I was standing and I must have been locking my knees. Guys, never lock your knees. Never, ever, ever stand with your knees locked, ever, because you will pass out. And I was standing with my knees locked and I fell over like a tree and hit my head on the bathtub. Like, I went like, and I don't know how I didn't get a more serious concussion, but I just got like this bump on my head. And so I have like half of my hair crimped and my dad is taking me to the hospital and he's just like, it's okay, you're gonna be fine. Like my parents are really amazing. Thank you guys for taking care of me in that situation. So I get to the emergency room and I don't even remember what happened. I'm just laying down and I'm like, Please don't let me have to get my blood drawn. Please, that's all that I want. Because I really hate needles. Needles are my worst fear. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, I just hope that I don't have to get my blood drawn. And they actually take me to this room and I have to get a CT scan, I think that's what it's called. Because they have to see what happened in my head. Or like, what happened in my head. And I was so blessed because the bump went out it didn't go inside my brain, which in my skull was not cracked or anything. That I was so lucky because if it goes in, like if there's a dent in, that's really bad. So we get the results for the CT scan and it actually turns out that I have a cyst inside my head right here. And I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it can be serious if like it grows or it might not be serious. 
but it was kind of a miracle that it hit my head because if I wouldn't have hit my head I would not have found a cyst right here inside my head so I go through the CT scan and they're like okay you're good to go home just put ice on it and just every like someone needs to be with me at all times in case I start to feel dizzy again and I didn't throw up I was blessed that it wasn't as bad as as things could have been it's actually still there I don't know if can you guys see it it's kind of hard to see but it's still there it's like right here and I don't know if you can see I mean, it's not that big of a deal. You just have to look really closely at my head to see that I still have a bump. And he said, just to let you know, you might have this little bump for the rest of your life. Because I guess the bone is like permanent there or something. I'm not sure exactly what he said, but I know that I'm going to have this bump for the rest of my life. So, yeah, just I guess the lesson from this story is never lock your knees. Especially when you're like really hot or you're around heat. And I have not used that crimper since that happened, and I don't think I plan on it either. But that was all for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and comment down below what you think of this, and if I should do more story times or not. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Do you feel the